So members of parliament, meanwhile, are calling for DNA testing to determine whether Maria Mabaso is indeed the killer and rapist Tabo Besta's mother after the briefing by Minister Mutsaledi. Dear member of the Correctional Services Portfolio Committee, Advocate Linus Breitenbach joins us again tonight. A very good evening to you, Advocate. I've spoken to you a lot in recent days. Why is this issue of the DNA testing so important at this stage in the saga? Well, the DNA testing is very important. Um, yeah, Tabo Bester has a variety of identities, apparently has a variety of uh, travel documents in his possession and has um, somehow, uh, by way of greasing many palms, been able to come and go more or less as he pleases in a maximum security prison. So, um, and, and we're told by the Minister of Home Affairs that it doesn't exist and he's never been issued with an identity document of any sort. So uh, I think the South African public is entitled to know that the man that we have in custody is the correct person, for starters. And um, is there any doubt, Advocate, at this point, that the man we've seen brought back to the country and has already appeared in court is indeed who the authorities say he is? Well, I sincerely hope not. But given all of these circumstances and the circumstances that prevail around his escape, and the subterfuge thereafter, the failure of the uh, authorities of the security cluster to uh, do anything uh, to rearrest him, sat on their hands for, for 10 months, uh, did nothing to rearrest him, uh, kept this information from the public, and, and frankly, if Ground Up hadn't published it, I'm quite sure that, uh, that it would still not be public uh, knowledge. Mm -hmm. So there was no intention from the security cluster to ever... Uh, inform the South African public that this person had escaped, and by all uh, event, by, by all measures that, that, if you look at what they did in the ten months they had to to rearrest him, uh, they probably wouldn't have rearrested him either. So um, there's no reason to have confidence in them, and therefore uh, I think that it's even more important to uh, make sure that we have the right person because there must be a, a small lingering doubt. Right. Uh, all the circumstances borne in mind. And you're a former prosecutor, how, how much of the success of the criminal trial would rest on the link between Besta and Maria Mabaso proving that she's his mother and therefore that this man in custody is indeed the rapist and murderer? Well, it, you know, the, the DNA is, is um, conclusive, uh, so if, if the, the, the link can be proved between him and his mother, but but the, uh, the identification of him as the rapist will unfortunately have to depend upon his, uh, on his previous victims. Otherwise, there can be no, um, uh, you know, certainty that he's in fact that man. Mm -hmm. And let me get your thoughts just on a separate issue that unfolded yesterday, the withdrawal of charges yesterday, well, the charge of murder, at least, against Nandi Pamakutumana's father, Cornelius Sekeleni. A lot of people were critical, saying that it appears to be the first sign that the state may have overshot the runway on this. Did that dent your confidence further in the ability of the state to bring these two people to justice? My, my confidence in the state has been dented uh, quite considerably by this event and others that have taken place in the recent past. Um, why they would have charged him with murder in the first place if there was no evidence to substantiate it is hard to imagine. And it's a, it's, it certainly is a, a, you know, a show of weakness when you withdraw a, a charge uh, immediately upon arrest. Um, that's, there, there certainly are questions that should be asked about that, yes. Mm -hmm. And... The criminal process is one thing that will unfold in court. The prosecutors, um, Besta, Makudumana, and the rest of them's uh, legal teams will then have to duke it out at that level. But Parliament has, as what happened last week, been dealing with issues around accountability and oversight, calling for the likes of the police minister, Peggy Trele, Justice Minister Ronald Lamola, and the respective commissioners. What is the best that that committee can do for the people of this country as far as accountability and perhaps helping to ensure that we don't see the repeat of an incident where a dangerous criminal, a rapist and a killer is on the run and was able to pull off such a successful um, 
and very sophisticated, it must be said, escape plan with the escape of multiple people undetected. Uh, certainly the Portfolio Committee must continue to, um, to, to hold these people to account. Uh, the two days that we spent on it certainly wasn't enough. Scratch the surface. Uh, we'll have to reconvene. We'll have to allocate more time. We'll certainly have to uh, have uh, interactions with a, a whole range of other people. But, but absolutely, at, at this moment in time, there can be no doubt that the Minister of Justice, the Minister of Police, the Commissioner of uh, Correctional Services and others uh, knew that uh, the body in the cell was not that of Bester. Uh, they, they knew that Bester was no longer incarcerated. They failed to inform the public of this quite astonishing fact. They failed to warn, support or protect uh, the victims of, 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 of Bester. Uh, and frankly, the public is entitled to be outraged. And all of those uh, people in authority should uh, do some very serious introspection if they had an ounce of integrity they design. Obviously, they won't. Um, but, but the committee uh, must uh, do its oversight job, and we must hold them to account. And the, and the committee must ensure that steps are taken to make sure that this type of thing uh, cannot happen quite so easily again. And Tom Bester, when he appeared in court on Friday, said that he hadn't taken food. We've now been told that he is because he feared that there'd be an attempt on his life via poisoning. Um, there's been much speculation about higher ups in the political system or even in the government and correctional services system exclusively having aided his escape from prison almost a year ago. Are you confident that at this point the investigations will reach that depth and bring forward those names if indeed such people were involved? Well, certainly he had a lot of uh, assistance, a, a lot of financial assistance, a lot of technical assistance. As you correctly said, it was a very sophisticated escape. Uh, so clearly there are many people with lots of clout who helped him. Uh, if uh, And the, the Portfolio Committee will continue to interrogate this matter until it has been investigated fully and we are satisfied that everybody who has been involved in it uh, has been uncovered and, and, and held accountable. Advocate Clemens Breitenbach, a member of Parliament's uh, Portfolio Committee on Justice and Correctional Services, thank you so much for speaking to us.